Hey guys, this is just the start of a work log video for a Nintendo 64 portable that I'm going to be designing. Uh, I'm I've decided to use a Game Gear case because I bought a Game Gear that I had the intention of repairing. However, the board uh, had too much battery corrosion on it to salvage. So I decided the case is alright and it's just a basic case. There is some damage to it, so... Uh, I figured it's a worthy candidate for that. So I'm just going to trace the outline here of it just to be able to design just roughly. All right. So I want to keep the layout of this right here. I'm going to go ahead and mark on it. This will be my A and B and start. I'll keep those original to the Game Gear. I'm going to add the C buttons down here. And then the D-pad, I'll try to move over here. And I'll try to fit in the joystick more up here. So this I'm going to have to redesign entirely. Uh, I don't know the exact screen size of the uh, Game Gear. However, I do know that I can get a... 3.5 inch screen pretty cheap and I think it's about that size so we'll see I'm gonna have to get a new screen lens anyway because this one's all scratched up and I also want to see if I can get it engraved and get rid of uh, Sega and get rid of Game Gear maybe put Nintendo down here and 64 up there so, uh, for the Game Gear this is where your power switch is, and this is where the DC in. I'll keep that the same for charging and, and power switch. And uh, I'll see if I can keep the wheel over there for volume as well as a headphone jack. Um, the game will most likely go in directly on top and not slide into the back. Um, if anything, if it is going to be on the back, there'll be a, it'll be down here. And the cart will go in like that. So I have a old motherboard that I trimmed down about the size that I'll need right here. This is a dead board. I just use it for sizing. Um, this is the maximum trim you can do um, with the uh, PIF relocation. So I figure lines up pretty good. I'll have to hollow out the inside of this case, but it can just barely fit in there that way. Or I can, if I wanted to, put it in this way and take a little bit more down here off. I can do that. I'll be hoping to get a working motherboard with two RAM chips on it because I need to do a RAM swap. And then... I can use a jumper pack for less height, so the thickness won't be an issue. Um, hoping to get at least three and a half hours of battery life to fit in here. Um, maybe a built-in rumble pack and memory card switch. Um, I don't see myself making a player uh, multiplayer functionality with this um, because it would obviously just be mine I don't intend on selling these um, and I just play single player games if I want to play multiplayer I'll play it on my home console so uh, I'll keep the speaker right there and uh, I believe that would be everything as far as design is uh, I'll try to get a mock-up version uh, as my thumbnail. Um, but yeah, it all looks like it'll fit in there just perfectly fine. And it's a good use for this Game Gear case. Thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates.